Hello everyone and welcome back to a new English lesson. Our lesson today is 4B reading part 2. Today we have two objectives. One, locate specific information after scanning two articles. Two, match some phrases with their meanings in the articles. Could you please open the student book and turn to page 50 and open the workbook and turn to page 54. Yesterday, we talked about two articles. One about a girl saving dolphins and another one about people saved by dolphins. Now, let's read the two articles, then answer the following questions. A 14-year-old girl became a hero last weekend when she rescued two dolphins. While Tina James was walking on Seagull Beach, she heard a strange noise. I went closer and saw two dolphins near some rocks. I was shocked. I thought only seagulls came to this beach, says Tina. The dolphins were very weak and didn't move much, but the problem was that they couldn't swim away because they were caught up in fishing nets. I had to help. I didn't want them to die. Tina immediately looked for an animal rescue centre on her phone. When the team arrived, they took the dolphins to the centre. Fortunately, they are now safe, thanks to Tina. A group of dolphins saved Julie Gilbert and her father from a shark off a New Zealand beach last Saturday. Julie and her father were swimming in the ocean, like they do every Saturday, when a group of dolphins appeared. I was very surprised to see dolphins so close to the shore, says Julie. They were swimming around us in a circle, when suddenly we noticed something further away. It was a shark's fin. We were so scared. I think the dolphins were trying to protect us. The dolphins swam around Julie and her father until the shark left. Then they swam away. I knew dolphins are friendly, but I didn't know they can also be heroes, says Julie. Let's answer the following questions. Starting from the first article. Question number one. Why is Tina James a hero? What is the correct answer? That's correct. Because she saved two dolphins. Now, where can we find it in the text? That's correct. We can find it in the third line. A hero last weekend when she rescued two dolphins. Let's move to the second question. How did she feel when she saw the dolphins near the rocks? What is the correct answer? That's perfect. She was shocked. Where can we find it? in the text. That's correct. Tina said, I was shocked. Let's move to the third question. How was her phone useful? What is the correct answer? That's correct. She found an animal rescue center. Now, where can we find it in the text? That's correct. Tina immediately looked for an animal rescue center on her phone. Well done. Let's move to the second article. Answer the following questions. Where did Julie and her father go swimming last Saturday? 
What is the correct answer? That's correct. At a New Zealand beach. Where can we find it in the text? That's correct. Starting from the first paragraph until Julie and her father were swimming. Now, number two. Why was Julie surprised when she saw the dolphins? What's the correct answer? That's correct. Because they were very close to the shore. Where can we find it in the text? That's correct. I was very surprised to see dolphins so close to the shore. Now, question number three. How did they feel? What is the correct answer? That's correct. They were scared. Now, where can we find it in the text? That's correct. We can find it here. We were so scared. Well done, everyone. Let's move to exercise C. Read again and write. J for Julie, T for Tina, or B for both. We have different sentences. We need to identify the speaker. Let's start with the first sentence. One, I saw two different kinds of animals in the sea. Who is the speaker? That's correct. It's Julie. Where can we find it in the text? That's correct. I was very surprised to see dolphins. It was a shark's fin. Let's move to number two. I was alone when it happened. Who is the speaker? That's correct. It's Tina. Where can we find it in the text? That's correct. We can conclude it from these lines. A 14-year-old girl became a hero last weekend when she rescued two dolphins. Let's move to number three. I was scared. Who is the speaker? That's correct. It's Julie. Where can we find it in the text? That's correct. It was a shark's fin. We were so scared. Now let's move to number four. I called for help. Who is the speaker? That's correct. It's Tina. Where can we find it in the text? That's correct. Tina immediately looked for an animal rescue center on her phone. Number five, I go to the beach every weekend. Who is the speaker? That's correct. It's Julie. Where can we find it in the text? That's correct. Julie and her father were swimming in the ocean like they do every Saturday. Let's move to number six. I didn't expect to see dolphins. Who said that? That's correct. Both. Now, where can we find it in the text? That's correct. For Julie, she said, I was shocked. I thought only seagulls came to this beach, while Tina said, 
I was very surprised to see dolphins. Let's move to number seven. I was worried about the dolphins. Who is the speaker? That's correct. It's Tina. Where can we find it in the text? That's correct. I had to help. I didn't want them to die. Well done, everyone. Well done. Let's move to exercise D. Look at the highlighted words in the articles and match them with their meanings A to E. Then check your answers in a dictionary. Let's start with number one and number two. One, rescue. Two, weak. Let's check them out in the text, then find the answers. So, what is the correct answer? That's correct. Number one, D, to save. How about number two, weak? What is the correct answer? That's correct. It's B, not strong. Now, number three, sure. Let's check it out first in the text. Now, what is the correct answer? That's correct. It's E. The land along the sea or lake, etc. Now, number four and five. Let's check them out in the text first. So, what is the correct answer for number four? Notice. That's correct. It's C. To see or hear. How about number five? Protect. What is the correct answer? That's correct. It's A. To keep safe. Well done, everyone. Let's move to the workbook. Page 54. Exercise B. Circle the correct options. Now you can pause the video, complete the task, then come back and check your answers. Go ahead. We'll come back. Now, sentence number one. What is the correct answer? That's correct. It's weak. How about number two? Shore or rock? That's correct. How about number three? Arrive or move? What is the correct answer? That's correct. The correct answer is move. How about number four? Rescue or protect? What is the correct answer? That's correct. It's protect. How about number five? appear or notice what is the correct answer that's correct it's notice number six is it dolphins or seagulls that's correct it's dolphins how about number seven afraid or strange what is the correct answer that's correct. It's strange. Well done, everyone. Now, this is the final section of our lesson today. Over to you. What other interesting facts do you know about dolphins or sharks? Would you like to become a volunteer and help wild animals? Why or why not? Now, about the first question. Regarding dolphins, I know that they are very smart and they have a very special way of communication. 
While regarding sharks, I know that whenever they lose a tooth, it's replaced by another one naturally. Now, about the second question, this is a personal question, and we usually like to help everyone, including humans or wild animals. So, most people will answer yes to this question. Well done, everyone. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time.